West Africa, and the uh, guest is Dr. Leonard Madhu, who's given us some information relative to how some of the states in West Africa have moved toward becoming known uh, as narcotic uh, states. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let's uh, see if we can mm -hmm. pick up where we left off dealing with Guinea Bissau. Yeah, like I, like I was saying when uh, General Vieira came back, you know, in 2005, uh, he ran for election and supposedly won, even though his opponents felt it was rigged, mm -hmm. you know, and became president again. Unfortunately, when he came back, the army commander, General Tagme Nawai, mm -hmm. you know, was uh, antagonistic towards him. And of course, General Nawe was one of those who plotted his overthrow in 1998. Okay. So mm -hmm. he wasn't happy to see mm -hmm. him being army commander mm -hmm. when he came back, and Nawe wasn't happy for him to mm -hmm. come back and be president, president. either. Yes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so since then, both of them have been antagonistic towards mm -hmm. each other. And of course, while a lot of people know that you know, the drug problem was in there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the tribal, you know, problems was also mm -hmm. involved. Uh, the majority of the army belonged to a tribe called the Balante, mm -hmm. you know, which General Nawe was is part of it, mm -hmm. you know. So eventually, you know, this uh, resulted in what happened uh, early this month. Mm -hmm. uh, late December last year, you know, some renegade soldiers attacked the residence of uh, General Vieira. But luckily, you know, he escaped. After that, he recruited a 400-man militia to guard him instead of the army. Mm -hmm. You know, because he didn't go outside there. of the army. Exactly, he he went outside in the army. Exactly, and recruited a 400-man militia from his own ethnic group to guard him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the army got mad and said, "No, you got to disband that militia." You know, because uh, we don't want anybody, mm -hmm. you know, who is not in the army carrying arms in this country. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the mistake he made. He should have kept his militia anyway, even regardless of what the army said, because he knew what was coming. You know, at the same time, he was plotting to assassinate the, the, the army commander. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Several other army commanders have been assassinated mysteriously. Mm -hmm. You know, so early, early the, this month, uh, the army commander came to his office and was blown up in a bomb mm -hmm. in an hour, mm -hmm. you know. That was a Sunday evening. After this happened, most of his uh, loyalists, you know, felt that General Vieira was responsible mm -hmm. for it. Okay. So early the next morning, they went and attacked the residence of General President Vieira and assassinated him mm -hmm. for, as a kid for that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. However, most informed observers, and including diplomats and some African presidents, believe that the real cause of the you know, mm -hmm. both assassinations, yeah, you know, the both assassinations mm -hmm. was control of the drug, you know, deal in the, in Bissau. Mm -hmm. Who controls it? In fact, the, the before the assassination, the Prime Minister, Mr. Carlos Correa, had made a statement publicly saying the biggest drug dealer in this country is President Vieira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, after he made that statement, he he he, he quietly slipped out and and mm -hmm. took took cover somewhere because mm -hmm. he knew what was coming. You know, that's what has brought this, you know, attention again to the, okay, to the, to, whole, to, to, mm -hmm. to the whole drug problem mm -hmm. in that part of, of Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, full stop, move to Guinea Conakry. Mm -hmm. Early, you know, this year, General Lansana Conte, who is the president of Guinea, mm -hmm. you know, died mm -hmm. after being in power for 24 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he took over power after the death of uh, Ahmed Sekoture. Mm -hmm you know, who was the first president, uh, mm -hmm. you know, of Guinea. And since then, he's been in power and refused to hand over. 24 years. 24 power. years in power, you know, had, uh, as usual, the fraudulent elections and re-elections and mm -hmm. all that. So when he died suddenly, I wouldn't say suddenly, he has been sick for a while, but refused to hand over power. Mm -hmm. You know, when he died, junior officers, you know, led by Captain Musa Kamara, you know, took over power. The first thing they did was open an investigation into the activities of the president, his family, and all other government officials. Mm -hmm. What they found out was that the government itself mm -hmm. was colluding with drug dealers. Mm -hmm. His son, you know, Osma, mm -hmm. Osma uh, Conte, mm -hmm. you know, came on TV. He was interviewed by reporters, even from the Associated Press, I mm -hmm. mean, the Reuters. Yeah, and confessed that, in fact, he has been a drug courier, mm -hmm. you know, for, for, for the drug cartel. Mm -hmm. Using the presidential okay. planes, mm -hmm. 
using diplomatic pouches, mm -hmm. uh, using the VIP lounge at the airport, mm -hmm. using his own mother's residence mm -hmm. as a place to store drugs and, sh and ship, ship them out. In fact, he said, mm -hmm. the f yeah, his first payment was $300,000, the first payment they, they made to him, mm -hmm. the first time, you know, he participated. From then on, he was involved in it all through. Mm -hmm. The police chief was involved in it. You know, the police chief wasn't earning much anyway. Uh, his salary was less than $500 a month, mm -hmm. but he was building a university. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the the, 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 the anti-drug you know drug chief was involved in it, confessed that he was involved in it. The intelligence chief, who's supposed to be keeping an eye on all mm -hmm. this, was involved in it. Mm -hmm. uh, regular soldiers themselves said they were involved in it. Mm -hmm. The presidential guard, the guard that guards the president, was used, you know, as a guard to secure those cargo at the airport and bring them into the con into 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 the city, you know. So everybody was and involved. And the government was involved in, in, in the whole. Uh, the government was a drug cartel. Exactly. What you're saying. That's correct. The government itself. The government itself. You know, when 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 the drug is secured by by the president's own bodyguards. Mm -hmm. his own bodyguards, just like the Secret Service now mm -hmm. securing drugs, mm -hmm. okay, that guards the mm -hmm. president. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, the president knows about it, mm -hmm. okay, his own VIP lounge at the airport is used to store the drugs. <laughs> He's walking there and the drugs. Exactly, over the place, his own wife's private <laughs> residence, okay, was uh, used to store these drugs. So you see how government collusion... Now I laugh because this is just pathetic though. Abs absol yeah. Absolutely, that's what makes it sad. <laughs> you know, that the government that's supposed to be, you know, the guardian of law and order, mm -hmm. is itself colluding mm -hmm. with, with the drug cartel. The cartel. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. That's, 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 that's the problem. Mm -hmm. So that is exactly why the United Nations is taking a hard look at these countries, mm -hmm. you know, and understands that the, the drug problem cannot be stopped mm. in mm. these countries because the governments themselves are participating. That's right. The participating. government is the cartel. Like how, can you, how can the government stop its own activity? That's, 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 the that's correct. The, mm. the, the government itself mm. in Guinea, Bissau, and, and Guinea Conakry involved themselves. Mm. Okay? Shift to Equatorial Guinea. The same, even the Obiang, mm -hmm. who, who's been there as the president since 1979, mm -hmm. you know. Is the same, Anobon Island, mm -hmm. full of drugs, mm -hmm. few, few, few miles from the border from Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, that's a drug heaven. Mm -hmm. But Obiang turns, uh, you know, mm -hmm. eyes uh, somewhere else. His sons, mm -hmm. his daughters, they're all involved in it. Mm -hmm. And it's a country that has so, some of the largest oil reserves in the world, and yet everybody's is poor it, it, and they're involved. using it. Exactly. Uh, very good. Of course, Dr. Madhu, let us take this uh, second uh, commercial break and get back. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Leonard Madhu and the 